And what's up guys, Joe here coming at you today from Crystal League. We're on the 9.5 or Town Hall 10, however you want to look at it. And Crystal League is really where it's at right now. I'm you know, speaking based off of my own experiences. I've bounced around throughout Crystal League, dropped down to Gold League, and you know a little bit here and there. But once I get back into Crystal League, it starts producing. And then I start winning a lot, and then I end up in Master League. And Master League is certainly not producing. Yes, it has Dark Elixir, but it doesn't have all this loot. Uh, um, really, the army that I'm using is based off a composition that I posted in the link above. And um, that composition, I went back and watched it. I was using it for a while, and I was struggling to maintain Elixir. And so I went back and watched it again, and I was like, come on, man. Like, you're just blowing Elixir with a massive amount of giants that I was using. Um, so the composition can be played with. You can do whatever you want to do with it. If you got a, a you know an archer queen down, you can easily drop the healers and add more archers and goblins or uh, wizards or whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but anyways, still has the queen walk, but we don't have to queen walk. So I'm going to show you four different methods of using this ar army today. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the SARS train account, um, we've actually come a really long way. Obviously, as you pay attention here, my Archer Queen's level 28 now. Now, back in November, click that link up there. Uh, we are at, you know, it was like a level 16 Queen back in November, and I think the King was like a level 12. I don't recall exactly. I'd have to go back and watch the video myself, but here we are in April, and man, we're already level 28 Queen. Uh, the King is still lacking behind. He's level 20, uh, so we haven't really gotten to that point where we're going to upgrade him. I'm kind of focused on the Queen at this point. My bad. My bad. I say it's a love-hate relationship with the queen. I want to get her done. So, um, anyways, back to farming. So, Crystal League is definitely where it's at. It's got to be the best league right now for uh, the lower level Town Hall 10, at least. I don't know about higher level Town Hall 10s because I don't have one. Um, so, anyways, uh, right now, we're just kind of getting her around the base. That's really the, in the intent here. We're going to speed this raid up a little bit, uh, try to move this video along. We got archers assisting, save those healers, keep the queen going. I don't think we get all of the loot here, but we do a dang good job getting it done and trying to get as much of it as possible. So we bring in some art, you know, some back-end goblins, try to get in there and you know steal some more loot. And yeah, they end up getting stumped by the defenses on this side. Archer Queen gets around, and we leave 68,000 or whatever gold on the base. So here's what the Asar's Train account looks like right now. We have gone all the way around, and we finished all of our level 9 walls. Uh, obviously, you saw the Archer Queen at level 28. We haven't touched our defenses. We're going to start doing our traps here probably in the next couple weeks. But right now, we are focused on the level 10 walls. My goodness. I cannot stand them still. They're two million a pop and they still suck. Anyways, the army composition again um, is, well, disregard the 12 wizards. We're doing the wizard event right now. But anyways, it would be all archers in the, repla in the place of all the wizards, uh, five healers. The uh, you know spells that are cooked are the heal, the uh, ra three rages, one jump. And that's in the event that we find a base that we're going to go after every bit of loot on that base and queen walk that girl into the you know map. But, don't use your spells unless you absolutely have to. So let's go ahead and get into some replays and talk about this a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first way to use this attack strategy, uh, or this composition, this army composition. Just use your goblins and archers. Um, you know, the first way to use it is don't use your healer or heroes unless you absolutely have to. Uh, you don't necessarily have to win every single match. Uh, the more you win, the more closer you get up into the Master League, and then you end up having to lose to drop all the way to back down. So. If bases like this present themselves where they have the gold and elixir in the mines, in the storages, or the, uh, you know, it's easily accessible, we can look at this base right now and tell you that it's completely dead. It's been dead for quite some time, and there's nothing on the inside of the base. There might be some dark elixir in there, but that's where your archers come into play. The range on the archers can reach in and grab the dark elixir out of those pumps. I do miss one pump on this raid, but either way, I walk away with 224,000 gold, 204,000 uh, elixir and about 500, you know, 500 dark elixir. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're able to jump back into the next raid and do this, a matter of you know, 15 minutes later, you're you're right back into the uh, match. Now, if you want to win, that's where you're going to start wrapping in those heroes if you have them available. So again, we're using our uh, goblins and our archers to get all these res all the resources that are dead on the outsides of the base. This is all within the last couple of days, guys. Uh, that I've been doing this. This is not you know these are not old replays. This is within the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, but anyway, so archers are on the map. 
and uh, they're you know getting all the resources out of the elixir pumps now i don't want to necessarily lose the match so i'm going to start dropping some archers around and get some structures that are outside of range of the archer towers the cannons and start working on getting some percentage that way i don't necessarily have to lose the raid uh, so that's exactly what i'm doing right now we're going to speed it up a little bit and kind of push through so the king is on the map then we're going to drop our archer queen and they're going to assist with getting the percentage required most people that have farmed for a really, really long time know these things uh, you know, use your heroes to go ahead and get the percentage, get the remaining Dark Elixir on the base, and we're walking away with dang near uh, 800,000 of each gold and Elixir, as well as 1,100 Dark Elixir. So we're able to walk away with a massive amount of Elixir, or uh, resources, as well as continue into the win. So another form of using this army would be to actually Queen Walk, but we're trying not to use our spells. Um, we want to use as minimal spells as possible because they're extremely expensive and they burn off our elixir very quickly. So this base right here has 540,000 gold, 506,000 uh, elixir, as well as 3,700 uh, plus or minus dark elixir. So we can see obviously that the dark elixir is in the core of the base, plus there's drills on the outsides of the base. So we're going to try to battle it out and get this queen to go in the base a little bit of a funky setup on this base to where you know the, the jagged walls throws off my queen walk a little bit plus i think i tried to record this attack and do it live and i was actually kind of goofing up at the same time by, by talking at the same time so anyways queen we're gonna walk her uh pay attention to her health we're really focused on our queen right now as she gets deeper in the base obviously losing a healer here momentarily so we're gonna try to speed the queen up by using one of our rage spells to get rid of the air defense and save our healers so we're then we're going to bring our archers around and start working on getting rid of structures that way that queen diverts back down to that uh, you know dark elixir storage that's in the core of the base so now she's back locked on it that's all i cared about in the first place so i don't really care about the queen anymore i did not have my barbarian king i actually kind of rushed it and didn't let him finish healing uh, so we get our drills up there with our goblins and then we just come in from the south where all of our loot is located with goblins and archers so we're just going to flood the area flood the area with uh goblins and archers and just get as much of this loot as we possibly can our archer queen is up there in the core of the base or trying to get into the core of the base and at this point it doesn't really matter because there's nothing else in there within her range uh, that she's going to be able to reach you know resource wise so we're able to get a very large chunk of the, the resources off this base which is huge because when you're doing this back to back to back to back to back, everything's stacking up relatively quick, and that's what's assisted me with my level 10 walls thus far. Uh, so as you can see, we still have a lot of our spells left over, so we're not burning a lot of our elixir. Uh, we did get a large chunk of the gold, and we did you know, miss out on some of the elixir, but either way, uh, moving into the next raid. Now the next raid is an example of when I would use all of my troops. Now this base has a lot of... Uh, dark elixir on it that was really what caught my eyes the shiny object you never really want to get caught up on the shiny object but in this case i did all the dark elixir in the core of the base now with these types of bases the ring is on purpose that way if you, you do try to queen walk it um she's not going to necessarily go where you want her to go and she's just going to follow the ring around so you got to play these defensive bases against the defender uh in this event right here we're going to still going to queen walk it i'm not afraid to queen walk it and we're going to do it uh, so we're basically setting up a very wide funnel using our archers and our goblins to really do this. Uh, we are going to walk away from this raid without some of the resources here, uh, but we did make enough resources back to make up for the losses of the use of spells. That's really the idea here is you want to make, you know, find these bases that make up for the use of spells if you have to use the spells. That's really the idea there. But the moral of the story here is don't use the spells unless you absolutely have to. Uh, so anyways, that sweeper's assisting my queen right now by pushing those healers out of range, and she's going to take out the air defense, and she's just going to continue around her walk. Now, I want to get her into this compartment where the enemy archer queen is at, so I'm going to start setting a funnel and start dropping, you know, goblins and archers, as well as my barbarian king down in the south to really steer my queen into the core of that base. So we're going to use one raid spell here in order to fend off against the enemy archer queen, as well as our wall breakers cracking that compartment. She's going to get into the base, no problems, and now we're going to drop our Barbarian King and more archers down in the south or the eastern corner to push up into this next compartment and divert our queen to the core of the, you know, the, core of the base. That's really the idea here. So Barbarian King's a level 20, so I do have to battle it out with his, um, 
his health, you know, because he does lose his health relatively quick. And now we're going to use a uh, poison spell and a rage to save our queen because those wizards would have put her down quickly if we hadn't done anything about it. So Barbarian King is really assisted with the archers of clearing the path and allowing, you know, diverting our queen back into the core of the base. We use one of our jump spells because she's not going to be able to reach that dark elixir. So naturally, she's shooting at things within her range, and if that jump spell wasn't there, then she would probably hit the shoot at the wall, if not try to go around the bottom of the base, which is not what we wanted her to do. Now, we're into the core of the base. There's a lot of defensive comp uh, composition here with our Tesla and the Expo, so we have to use a Rage spell again to save her. We also have her ability. Now she's focused in on the Dark Elixir, but then got diverted by the Skeleton Trap, so now she's focused in back on, on a different target in the Clan Castle. So, uh, her ability is actually used in this case in order to get back in on that Dark Elixir, and I think we were running out of time at this point. So you gotta pay attention to your time in these attacks. So drop some comments below and let me know if this helped you out at all, and thanks for watching, guys.